So I'm ready when you are. Awesome, awesome. Grand afternoon, grand afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy Saturday to join this Zoom webinar, which we do every month. And it is called the Health Exchange. And this is where we exchange thoughts and ideas with various health professionals, some physicians, some wellness coaches, some health advocates. Um, and we share ideas and we learn different tips that we can incorporate and integrate into our daily lifestyle and hopefully pass on to other family and people that we come into contact with. But today I'm extremely excited because this is a brother of mine that um, I do work with quite often on various events. And he comes from Dublin, Ohio. He is a graduate of The Ohio State University. And he's a retired teacher of 14 years in the Dublin area where he taught biology, chemistry, environmental sciences, and a few others that I'm, I'm sure I'm missing. But he combines his passion for people with his inspiring healthy living movement. And he does that by sharing the tower garden along with whole food plant nutrition, which we better know as Juice Plus. So I want to introduce Mr. Henry Gafai Lee to everyone out there. And again, we, we like to just teach people that they can learn a couple of things they might not know. And I'm sure nobody on this call knew Henry's middle name was Gafai. So there you learn something new today. But Henry, welcome to the Health Exchange. And thank you so much for taking time out of your Saturday to share some thoughts with us. Uh, thanks so much for that kind introduction, Troy. Um, that's way too, too much for, uh, for a little guy like me. Um, like Troy said, um, I'm just a guy trying to make a difference in the world. Um, and uh, Troy puts together uh, a series of monthly uh, speakers uh, that speak on the, the topic of health. Um, and today, uh, specifically, we're going to be taking a look at um, how poor, proper nutrition um, can either help you or hurt you. And so I've got a couple of props today. I'm also, I also have a, a little PowerPoint that I'm going to show you. And you might get a little treat with a little video here too. Um, but just to uh, reiterate what Troy said. Uh, so my journey began in the classroom. I've, I've taught anatomy and physiology um, and biologies, chemistries, environmental sciences for 14 years here in Dublin City Schools. Um, and during that time, I learned about nutrition for the first time um, because when I was going through all my classes at Ohio State University, go Bucks, um, we were taught mainly about these are your symptoms and these are the drugs that you use to mask them. Um, if you can relate to that, um, then I know your wheels are spinning in there and you're thinking, um, oh, I, when I went to the doctor and they, that's why they give me all these drugs and I don't get better. It's the same thing with multivitamins. Today, we're going to take a look at um, a couple different things that uh, we have been trained, conditioned as kids growing up in our culture to think that it's going to help. And you might be wondering why isn't it helping? Why are we still getting sick? So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you um, and show you a, couple, a little about myself um, and where we're coming from. Um, just to give you a summary of what we're going to be going over today, uh, we are going to go over the uh, six uh, best doctors in the world um, that are right at your fingertips. They're probably right around you and you hadn't even realized it. We're also going to be going over three red flags uh, that you can use to identify um, and sift through all the confusing stuff out there in terms of healthy fads. So I'm going to share my screen and all right, give me a little thumbs up when you see my screen. You good? All right. So I'm going to skip this first slide and go to the second one here. So this is, um, this is a little glimpse of what my, uh, my life has looked like over the past couple of years. Um, 
as Troy said, we are a community of healthy, like-minded people that are just trying to make a difference out there and inspiring the entire world through nutrition and healthy lifestyles. Um, and one of the uh, ways that we do that is through a company called Juice Plus. And so these are some of my good friends here that we often uh, support and encourage each other, um, even during the pandemic. Um, we get on Zooms all the time and uh, we help to educate our friends and family and play scavenger hunts and all sorts of stuff. Um, and so uh, even in the midst of the pandemic, we've been able to shift um, from doing in-person salad in a jar parties and, and healthy recipe exchanges and things like that to doing it online. Um, so uh, if you'd like to be a part of that, um, certainly get, to the per get back to the person who invited you to watch this recording or invited you to, to today's call. Um, and uh, you can see down here, these are some of my team um, at the Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Center and Complete Health Industry. Um, uh, Troy mentioned that, yes, I, I work with, uh, we partner together. Our, our underlying common thread is Juice Plus, um, but I also work for a Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Center where we recommend Juice Plus um, along with uh, several healthy lifestyle changes to all of our patients along with health, uh, the complete health dentistry. And I'll show you a little bit about that too um, as we move forward. And so today um, I wanted to, to approach this first by taking a look at two startling trends that we see in the world. And these might resonate with you. And so if you have any questions throughout today's um, meeting or presentation, then certainly keep those in your back pocket so we can uh, get those answered to, uh, for you. Um, at the end of, of the Q&A here. And you can certainly type those in the chat as we go so you don't forget your questions. So the, the first one that I wanna highlight is that we have a lot of toxins that are in our, in our waterways, in our soil, in our uh, foods uh, that are started in our plants and our fruits and vegetables and then are eventually uh, bioaccumulated. That means they are magnified um, as animals eat them. And so the bigger animals eat the smaller animals in the case of fish. And, and so you get toxins building up inside of these animals. Um, and so the, uh, the problem that we're looking at is not just in the land, not just eating stuff in, uh, in, in fruits and vegetables, um, but looking at what are the toxins and how concentrated they are in animals. Um, so how do we minimize all these toxins. The other thing that we're taking a look at is, um, you know, taking, we know, everyone knows that fruits and vegetables are good for you. In fact, they're so good for you that they could save your life. Um, and this is what the luscious fields are supposed to be looking like. Some of you have seen this slide before, if you have attended our tower garden presentations, um, which we, uh, we can certainly get those to you if you're curious. Um, but unfortunately, instead of looking like this, this is what our uh, desertification looks like. Desertification is a fancy term for um, uh, you know, you have a lot of crops that are, are depleting the soil because we keep on harvesting and harvesting and harvesting. And so uh, eventually that farmland turns into desert. Uh, desert. So we have toxins um, in our waterways and, and land and, and food. And the food that we do get, um, it is not uh, very sustainable. It might travel thousands of miles. And uh, so you might find that your food quality um, is not only decreasing, but confusing because um, you know, you're going through the grocery store um, and these days, of course, this picture was taken pre-COVID, right? So he's not wearing a mask, but um, you know, taking the time to read through all these preservatives and flavors and artificial fillers and um, you know, where do we start? And so the this is a fun uh, fact here, 80% of the food on our shelves um, didn't actually exist 100 years ago. And that's pretty shocking because um, I don't know about you, but if I go to the grocery store, um, the center of the grocery store that has all the boxed foods and, and frozen foods, it keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and if you take any of, these, uh, any of these products off the shelf and you start looking at the ingredient labels, you'll notice that a lot of it is chemicals. It's not even food. In fact, a lot of these cereals that you see on the right-hand side, and I'm guilty of it too, so this is me pointing fingers at myself, um, is I grew up on sugary cereals and Pop-Tarts, but when you look at the ingredients, you'll notice that really there's only about one or two 
foods on the ingredient label and everything else is added. It's crushed up multivitamins, um, it's preservatives, it's added dyes, um, it's all sorts of different uh, preservatives. And so looking for a, uh, an answer um, and obviously those you know, white enriched bleached cereals and breads are not the answer because this is what our country has come to. Um, a, a country that's built on all this uh, malnutrition um, has led to one in three uh, people are eventually going to have some sort of heart disease. We deal with this all the time at the Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Center. We know that, um, yes, it does increase with age, but you can actually reverse your arterial age by healthy lifestyle and mainly nutrition. Um, we also take a look at not just heart attacks, um, but we look at cancer, we look at Alzheimer's, we look at rheumatoid arthritis, all these different diseases that are happening. 80% of them, of these chronic diseases, you can actually prevent them or reverse them in some cases. And so how do we do that? Well, in order to do that, we really um, have to look at holistically. So I told you we we're gonna take a look at the world's six best doctors. Um, and it doesn't require an HSA account. It doesn't require that you have to have health insurance and go out there and find the most expensive doctors. It really is right in front of you. And so I call these doctor exercise, doctor sleep, doctor stress management, doctor hydration or drink water, um, you know, doctor down here with reducing your toxins and the products and, and doctor nutrition. And so in reverse order, every single one of these um, has a reason. And especially in the times that we're living in today, um, I'm not gonna go into too much of the science, but because I taught anatomy and physiology, um, I'm gonna relate it to the, uh, the situation that we have at hand right now is, um, you know, a lot of people are not getting the exercise that they're typically or used to getting. And the problem with that is, um, if you're not getting exercise, then you're not increasing your endorphins. You're not uh, getting uh, you're not getting circulation. That movement is actually super healthy for you because um, it increases your immune system. It increases your mood. Um, and so, all these people that are staying indoors and not getting any exercise in are actually hurting their immune system. Uh, doctor sleep super important because what happens when you sleep? Your body rejuvenates. Your tissues grow, your cells divide, and at the heart of your cells are the DNA. The DNA has to replicate first because it's the most important part of the cell. You can't have a cell without replicating the DNA first. And what, when does that actually happen? That repairs overnight. And so it's important to get um, a regimented uh, good number of, of hours of sleep. Um, I know my, personally, this is the, the, the biggest struggle for me, um, not because I can't fall asleep, but because I'm in a world of busyness. There's so many great things to do, um, and it takes intentionality to actually schedule sleep. So we have doctor exercise, doctor sleep. Um, we're going to come back to stress management because, but keep that in your back pocket. Stress um, is the the is oftentimes thought of in terms of stress at work, mental stress. But stress in here is actually the same, their body reacts the same way as stress in the physical form. So whether it's mental stress, it's physical stress or spiritual stress, your body handles it the same way. And we're gonna take a look at how you can combat that stress. Um, a doctor hydration, super important because every single chemical reaction in the human body does not happen unless it's in the presence of water. And so I see Tammy taking a swig of water, Great job, <laughs> um, keep that hydrated. Rule of thumb um, is half your weight in ounces. So if you weigh 100 pounds, for instance, that's 50 ounces of water per day. Um, and you wanna try to get that filtered. You wanna um, make sure that you're not uh, drinking in all those toxins and, um, and things that are in our waterways. Um, so uh, the other reason why water is super important because it flushes your system. And so one of the best things you can do if you're feeling ill, you have a headache, you have a migraine, you have a fever, is drink more water. One of my uh, good friends, Dr. Mike Ewald, he's a chiropractor down in Dayton, and that is his biggest one. In fact, if you could blow that one up, um, then he would say this one's probably the most important one. 
Um, reducing those toxins um, is important too because like we said before, bioaccumulation or biomagnification means that um, if you have a little bit of toxin um, in let's say your strawberries for instance, so if you, you uh, oftentimes strawberries are not organic. Um, they're they're uh, they're cheaper to buy conventional, right? So that means that they're sprayed with pesticides, herbicides, and the way that strawberries grow is they actually grow from the inside out. And so if you are eating conventional strawberries that have been sprayed with uh, with all sorts of different chemicals, that means that as that strawberry grew, it's encapsulating all of those chemicals and it accumulates in your body. The way that your body actually functions, because we are animals and, um, and whether you believe in, uh, in evolution or God or both, um, the way that our bodies handle toxins is that it seeks out those toxins, takes it out of the blood and surrounds it in fat cells. And so you have concentrated toxins wherever you have fat in your body. That's why it's healthy to do intermittent fasting you know, if you finished your, your meal at 6 p.m., don't eat until 6 a.m. And you don't have to do this all the time, but it helps to do that intermittent fasting every now and then because it forces your body to access the energy in fat cells, which releases those toxins and detoxifies your body. And so oftentimes you've heard of ketosis. Ketosis is actually a healthy thing short term, but not healthy for long term because it's really meant for emergency energy release those toxins, do a detox every now and then, and then you can replace it with what, what, in my opinion, is the most important lifestyle change is the food that we eat. Um, now that food that we eat has a huge impact. And I'm going to show you um, a couple slides that show that describe why that's important and why our um, it's, it, it is even more crucial for us to pay attention to what we're eating today than it was 50 years ago. Um, I love these images because if you look at here, um, and this is an image off of Time Magazine, why food could be the best medicine of all. And over here on the slide on the left here, you can see um, a syringe is often uh, associated with medicine. And again, we, when we mentioned uh, the pharmacology uh, classes that I took and, and the, the just semesters of books um, on here, you'll notice that um, you have a ton of, uh, you have a ton of symptoms that are masked with medicine. And again, medicine does something to you, whereas food actually does something for you. Um, and so all these little um, catchphrases you may have heard before, but how, uh, you know, how well do we actually listen and take those to heart? I love this one here too, because it shows if only you went to the doctor and instead of prescribing you um, a medicine uh, cabinet full of drugs, what if he said, well, eat more broccoli, eat more blueberries, eat more lemon peel. And it's the peel because the peel actually has 80% of the vitamin C and most of the nutrients, but we usually throw away that peel. And what if there's a way to get all those fruits and vegetables and put them into a pill or capsule and so you could benefit from actually long-term food that does something for you rather than medicine again that does something to you and has all these extra side effects you know this iv here with all these different um, fruits and vegetables and i love these images and again uh, it's not that fruits and vegetables are good for you it's that they're so good for you that they could save your life and we know that but we're not getting enough fruits and vegetables so what do we do how many of you show of hands have eaten vitamin pills before. If you ask anyone who has eaten vitamin pills and you ask them, why do you eat vitamins? They'll tell you, it's because I know I don't eat right. It's because I know the nutrition that I'm getting from my sugary Pop-Tarts and, and cereal um, and ramen noodles does not contain what my body actually was designed to fuel off of. So we supplement it and we think that we're fine by putting, if you count these, there's only about 20 vitamins and minerals inside of this vitamin pill. And so I keep my vitamin pills around, not to take them, but to actually use them as props and show my friends and family that let's, let's imagine this, your body is a skyscraper. 
And the architect that designed this art, this skyscraper put out the blueprints in front of you and said, in order to build your body, the skyscraper, you're going to need 10,000 um, different building blocks. You're going to need drywall. You're going to need, you're going to need the infrastructure and the door handles and light bulbs and, and uh, paint for the walls. But you're not allowed to use 10,000 building blocks that are on this blueprint to build your skyscraper. You can only choose 20. I would look at that architect and be like, that's impossible. How am I supposed to build this skyscraper that was designed to use 10,000 different building blocks, but you're only allowing me to use light bulbs, drywall, and paint? That is the equivalent of what we do to our bodies when we're tricking ourselves into eating multivitamins and then calling it a day. When the truth is, you have a apple, for instance, and if on the right hand side, this is only three to 400 nutrients. In reality, it's about 10,000. We've only been able to identify a couple hundred of them, but we know that your body requires all of them. And it doesn't just start, with, it doesn't just stop with apples. Well, what's the, uh, what's the trouble with that then? Why can't I just continue eating my multivitamins? Well, here's, this is really what your fruits and vegetables do for your body, okay? Um, the bad news is that everyone uh, there we go. Everyone gets older, but not everyone ages. I'm going to say that again. Everyone gets older, but not everyone ages. This is why. If you take an apple and cut it in half, you take an avocado, cut it in half, you take any fruits and vegetables and expose them to the elements. This is what it ends up happening. You have something called oxidation. And that mm -hmm. oxidation means that free radicals are floating around and they start uh, rotting the tissue, whether it's plant tissue or whether it's flesh. And because mm -hmm. it starts rotting, okay. then it starts turning brown. This is a very easy visual to see within maybe 10 minutes. But if you've ever, uh, made your uh your guacamole or made a fruit tray for, for your family then you'll notice if you squeeze lemon juice on the avocados or apples then it preserves them why is that it's because the oxidative stress mm -hmm. is combated it's locked up if you give them antioxidants and the best source of antioxidants, the most concentrated form of them are in fruits and vegetables. We've heard of antioxidants that term before, but do we really know what they do? It's so simple. Antioxidants combat oxidative stress. And when you do that, that means your DNA can repair faster. Your cells can divide like they were supposed to. Your muscles repair faster. Your inflammation in the entire body goes down, which is the root of all chronic disease. So the key is antioxidants. It's the best defense for your DNA. It's the best defense for your entire body. And um, some people say, well, I eat my antioxidants from chicken and from beef. And I want you to think about that. So when a cow eats fruits and vegetables, right? And then you eat the cow, then you're actually eating the leftovers because the cow used all the antioxidants. It used all the good nutrition that was in that grass. It used all the nutrition from eating th those, those plants. And so when you eat the cow, you're not getting all the raw nutrients from the plants. Um, my friends at my Bible study uh, tease me sometimes because they're like, um, you know, so, Cows eat plants and I eat cows. So does that make me a vegetarian? And really that makes you a leftoveritarian. <laughs> I just made that term up. That's not a real term. Don't look it up in the dictionary and hold me to that. So um, let's say I eat healthy. I go to the grocery store and I eat lots of fruits and vegetables. In fact, um, um, I have a brother who in the past, he used to eat at least two apples a day and you've heard that we've all heard this phrase raise your hand an apple a day keeps the doctor away apple a day keeps the doctor away so 
we've been trained and tricked that, oh, yeah, I can just eat a bunch of apples. And the, the truth is that we are all creatures of habit. I go to the grocery store and I eat apples, I get my bananas, and I get my oranges. But do I eat my bilberries and elderberries? Do I even know where to buy elderberries? Um, and how far has that those uh, have those fruits and vegetables traveled? A lot of these fruits and vegetables, um, next time you go to the grocery store, take a look at the labels. Made in Mexico, grown in um, Guatemala, it is uh, grown in California. And so most of our food in the grocery store travels for thousands and thousands of miles to a distribution center and then out to the grocery store on the shelves. You buy it from the shelves and they sit on your shelf. And so they're usually picked about three weeks prior to being ripened. And that is when the most, most of the nutrient loading happens in the last couple of days of, of nutrient ripening. So if we know that we should be getting seven to 13 fruits, servings of fruits and vegetables, um, and we're eating seven apples, <laughs> um, then we're not getting the huge variety of antioxidants. Remember, that's the key that our bodies need. Um, so stop getting the multivitamins, start eating the fruits and vegetables, and get a huge variety as, uh, as much as you can to detoxify um, your body. Um, and again, it's about color eat the rainbow. That's one of my favorite mm -hmm. phrases. And we're not talking about Skittles. Mm -hmm. Eat the rainbow means um, that your purples are going to help with your immune system. Your um, blues help with your, uh, your cardiovascular and your, um, your oranges help with your lungs. And, and it's not just isolated to a particular part of the body because it's food. And so you eat that pepper, you keep, eat the cucumbers, you eat the blueberries and elderberries and artichokes, it's going to help every single system of the body. Um, but the truth is, we are not vitamin deficient, we are whole food deficient. Mm -hmm. And so when your body is, um, is hungry um, after eating and eating and eating, it's because you're not getting the right nutrition. And your body knows that. But if you just filled mm -hmm. yourself up with the proper nutrition, then you wouldn't have to um, eat um, as the quantity that we think that we do, the, the American portion versus the other portions, right? I went to uh, a TGI Fridays when I was in Thailand um, and they have two, um, uh, two pricings on the menu. One is the regular, pricing and a portion and the second is the American portion um, and who who these days uh, you know goes to the doctor and the doctor says oh you know what I think I'm gonna put you on a diet we're gonna put you on something called the American diet because we all know what the American diet does and so you might be asking okay so where do we get started this is um, uh, part of our healthy living community we have all sorts of free cookbooks um, where you can try out different recipes um, and uh, we have all sorts of different live and online educational events. We have Facebook groups. We even have kids programs um, and bingo sheets and stickers and all sorts of stuff. So definitely get in touch with the person who invited you to watch this recording and they, get, they can get these tools into your hands. But one of the educational tools that we use um, and products that we um, absolutely adore and love, um, and especially over at, you know, in our, for kids, uh, for pregnant women, for um, our heart attack and stroke prevention patients, our dental patients, this is what we recommend at the top of our, um, I shouldn't say prescription because I don't want you to think it's a drug, it's actually food. Um, and so on the left here, you can see these, what if you could eat 11 fruits a day? And so right now it is 2.30 in Ohio and I have already eaten my 11 fruits for today. Now, does that mean I can't eat? No, I get to enjoy food, but I've actually eaten 11 fruits, 11 vegetables, and 11 berries before noon already. Um, and there's a couple other ones that I eat as well. So I've actually eaten over 50 fruits and vegetables before noon. I eat over 50 fruits and vegetables before I go to sleep. Um, and so you might look at this and be like, I've eat, I eat my apples. And I had pineapple last week, but what if you could eat every, a bite of each one of these every single day? So it's not about eating 
a full carrot every day. It's about eating a, a little bit of a, as much variety as possible. And that's where you get these fruits, veggies, and berries. Um, and so you might be asking, okay, how's that better than just eating the real thing then? And how do you actually fit it into the capsule? Those are two very common questions that we get. Um, well, if you were to take these fruits and vegetables and dehydrate them, okay? Um, here's, here, I, love, I love teaching in analogies. I used to do this in my classroom all the time. A human, you can type this in the chat or, or you can shout it out here. Um, how much of a human body is actually comprised of water? What percentage of the human body is water? Anyone know? So I'm just taking a look at the chat here. All right, so Karen, you are our winner. 75%, 75% of the human body is actually, uh, is actually comprised of water. So if you were to dehydrate the human body, you could fit a full human into a cup or a vase, we do it all the time, it's called cremation. So plants and, and fruits and vegetables are more than 75% water, they are about 90% water. So you can take a good sized watermelon and, and if you dehydrate it, you can shrink it down into a very small amount of space. Now the rest of that, besides the water, a lot of it is sugar. And so the problem with the sugar is, um, for pre-diabetes, uh, for diabetics, um, and for insulin resistance and heart attack and stroke is related to that too. Um, what if there's a way that we could crystallize the sugar, take that out as well. So we are left with just the phytonutrients from all your carrots and cabbage and kale and garlic and mangoes and pineapple and dates and cherries. That is what Juice Plus is. And so we mentioned the word Juice Plus before. In a nutshell, Juice Plus, is dehydrated, crystallized sugar out fruits and vegetables. And it's very concentrated. It is NSF certified, which means that it is even better than organic. They don't just fill up the paperwork and say that it's organic. They actually get tested. Um, so there's some, this uh, third party NSF that comes around and tests those farms, um, sometimes as much as six times a year unannounced to make sure that what is on the label is actually in the product. Um, and uh, I also uh, told you at the beginning, we're gonna take a look at some red flags of why um, all this confusing stuff out there um, is, it, it, it is not alarming people. Um, this is probably my favorite piece because I'm a research junkie and uh, all the confusing health stuff out there. Uh, when I look at is this something that I want to feed my future kids? Is it something that I want to give my sister-in-law who's pregnant? Um, is it something that I want to um, give my friend who is going un undergoing chemotherapy? Is it backed by research? So the next time you're looking at something on the shelf, the next time that you hear some new health fad out there, ask yourself this question first. Not only does it have testimonies, because it's great. Everything, I, there's so many things that have testimonies. And yes, we have testimonies. They're great. But does it have the research to back it up? Um, and as you're reading through some of these, you might recognize King's College, University of Maryland, MDM Anderson Cancer Hospital in Texas, Yale University. These are the, uh, the universities that test the actual product. They don't test blueberries. They don't test the artichokes, they test the capsules themselves so they know that this is actually working. Double blind, placebo tested, gold standard. And then they put them in, um, in medical research journals that you can find on our shelves. Like over at the Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention Center, we have these journals um, that our cardiologists look through and, and you can find our Juice Plus articles. You can't pay to get in these research journals. And so what else does it show? Specifically, we talk to our, our patients about how it improves the elasticity of your arteries. They're supposed to be stretchable. And if they're not stretchable, then you end up with atherosclerosis. You end up with plaque, soft plaque going out into the surrounding areas and eventually bursting back into the blood and making a clot somewhere, causing an ischemic stroke or a heart attack. 
So we can actually reverse heart disease by healthy lifestyle changes. And again, namely through nutrition. You can see on here too, it doesn't just stop with cardiovascular. It helps with your immune system. It increases the, the commanders and controllers of your immune system, the T cells. Um, it reduces periodontal disease and the, uh, the gum bleeding, which um, we particularly look at because the bacteria that goes into the pocket depths of uh, three, four, five um, millimeters down into the, the tooth, can, that anaerobic bacteria can actually eat through the bone and it go directly into the blood system, which is a lot of these 300 strands of bacteria in your, in your mouth, we've identified that there's 11 plus um, that we monitor very closely because they were directly related to your chances of either a heart attack or stroke, um, autoimmune, rheumatoid arthritis, cancer, um, kidney disease, and uh, Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, and again, to the right-hand side, this um, is the same thing that we looked at before, reducing oxidative stress, whether it is from chopping off your arm, a physical stress, or a divorce, um, a mental stress. It's all about antioxidants, which protects your DNA, reduces the inflammation, um, starts repairing your skin from the inside out using food. Um, there's another uh, a product that we actually... Um, we, we consider our flagship um, over at uh, some of our medical facilities um, and it's available to you at your home. This is our vegan omega blend, which doesn't just have your EPA and DHA and omega threes, but omega five, sixes, sevens, and nines. And it goes straight to the algae, the source of the o omegas instead of eating it from fish. So it's super sustainable, much more healthy. And the latest research shows that these omegas, these vegan omegas from plant sources actually give you twice the punch in half of the time compared to triple filtered um, uh, omegas that you get from fish out there. And so it's just a great source of natural plant-based uh, omegas. You might be wondering what's the What's the point of omegas? Why do I need these omegas? And yes, heart, brain, joint, skin, every single one of your cells has, um, is made of something we call phospholipids. Uh, it's, a, it's a layer of fat that surrounds your cells. So in order to make more cells, you need these. In fact, 80% of your brain by weight is made of healthy fats and cholesterol. And so these omegas help to recoat all of those nerves that send signals from point A to point B. And if that frays over time, then the signal doesn't go as efficiently and effectively. And depending on where it is in the, in the brain or the body, we call that MS, Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, Huntington's. And so um, I have Alzheimer's that runs in both sides of my bloodline. And so I double up on these. Um, in the morning, um, I make sure that I, I prime my blood throughout the day, and especially at night, an hour before I go to sleep. That's what we recommend uh, to our patients um, because, again, sleep is when your body is repairing, when your tissues are dividing, and when your DNA is replicating. And you might be wondering, okay, so that, does that mean I don't have to eat food, right? And we said before, there's, uh, you still get to eat food, but make sure it's from clean sources. This is another alternative. Um, this oftentimes is mistaken as a protein powder, but um, it's actually more than just protein because your typical uh, workout protein powder that you see at uh, GNC and stuff um, has isolated amino acids, that's protein, and then they add in some sugars. Well, what if you could actually get it from food itself? So this is 17 plants. This is not isolated amino acids. It is 17 plants from all sources uh, from quinoa to broccoli sprouts to alfalfa um, and amaranth. Um, and it has mushrooms to get your 40% of daily value of, D, of vitamin D, which is super important for immune system uh, health and for your mood um, and just uh, calcium absorption, all sorts of stuff. Um, so you also might be wondering, okay, so uh, how do we uh, get this to our kids? Because our kids... They like all the sugar stuff. 
And so some of these kids in classes, you know, they're falling asleep because they uh, have all sorts of, uh, you know, sugar going through the system in the morning from those pop tarts. Um, but what if we could teach our kids in the classroom um, about the power of fruits and vegetables, the healing power of fruits and vegetables? And so this is one of our classrooms um, put together in projects by our friend, Dr. Stephen Ritz. Um, what if your classroom could look like this? Um, and uh, in order to teach them that, we have another tool that's called a tower garden by Juice Plus. And that tower garden looks like this in the background. Um, and schools can actually get them through grants. So I have three in my classroom um, that we actually got funded for free. Um, and it's not just in, high, in my high school classroom, they are in over 7,500 uh, 7, uh, schools across the U.S. alone, not counting Canada. I have, I have a friend of mine um, who I was just on a call the other day um, who has uh, installed uh, tower gardens in 80 schools from a, an anonymous donor. Um, and so if you more, if you would like more information about how to get that connected into your child's school, definitely get in touch with the person who invited you to this call. A couple different um, benefits of that in not only the classroom, but in your home um, is that you can grow food in a relatively uh, low amount of space, about 10% of the land, in fact, because it's vertical. In over three weeks, this is what your food could look like in your living room. And so that tower garden there, that's, this is one of the models. We actually have two different models that you can, um, you can learn about. Um, but really, what it comes down to is, am I feeling good? Am I... Um, am I going to live longer? And, uh, it, it, you know, what's happening on the inside of my body? And so we have something called the Healthy Starts for Families program where kids get fr free fruits and vegetables for four years um, with the qualifying uh, parent or, uh, or adult uh, purchase. Um, and the results over the past 20 years, parents report this, that kids miss less days of school that they go to the doctor less, that they're consuming less fast foods and eating more fruits and vegetables. They naturally crave more of those. Um, and instead of eating a bunch of prescription drugs, um, then they uh, tend to, to hydrate themselves more just naturally on their own. Um, so that's another program that is available out there. Um, and so definitely get in touch um, with the person who, uh, who shared this with you. So I'm going to stop, stop my screen share here. I know that was a lot of information. You probably have a lot of uh, questions. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to Troy. I mean, wow, Henry. Just amazing, valuable information that this level of content if you wanted to put a price on it, and I will, people are paying anywhere from $250 to $1,000 for seminars that give this level of content. Mm -hmm. This is the type of information that is impacting and literally saving lives when people take this knowledge and apply it. It's not enough just to get the knowledge and hear it, but we know the power comes from when you actually apply the knowledge that you have learned. And my, my hope, my prayers are that when people hear this information, they take action and they make changes, starting with one simple change at a time. If you wanna do multiple changes in your life, I applaud you, I salute you, but just start with one simple change. And you had a lot of tips that you shared, Henry. Um, but I'm going to open it up to see if there are any questions that anyone might have um, that they need to get answered right now today, just in case they want to start making a change immediately, because you never know what someone's going through, a loved one is going through, and this information might be able to help someone right now. So let's open it up, anyone, if you want to put it in the chat. If you want to unmute yourselves and have a and, and, and ask your question, please do so now.
Um, I do have That's something to, to add, um, if you don't mind, uh, Troy. No. I'm really glad that you mentioned um, something about cost. Like, what is the cost of your health? Um, and if you were to take a look at um, all those fruits and vegetables that you have on that poster behind you there, right? So I have, um, I have a friend who put, he went to the grocery store and bought every single one of those and ended up being about $90 for the week. If you were to get every single one of those, $90, that's if elderberries are in season and available on your grocery store, right? And then having to do that every single day. Um, and so cost-wise, uh, it's pretty much impossible uh, to get that amount of nutrition packed into every single day. So this is an easy, affordable solution um, that I love telling people about because I know that it's going to get them healthier. No, absolutely, Henry. And there's many times I can remember growing up where I, I'd see people getting a knife and peeling, <laughs> peeling the skin off of the apple and then eating the apple. And as you said, 80% of the, the nutrients are in the peel. And we, we don't, the oranges, the lemons, we, we throw those peels away all the time. So where else are you going to be able to eat the peel and not make like squirmish faces, especially with the lemon peel? No place other than Juice Plus. Um, and again, the, the organization, the, the community, it's not only inspiring healthy living, we're inspiring giving by giving to the St. Jude's uh, Children's Cancer um, Mission, the Boys and Girls Clubs, as you said, um, several schools have the Tower Gardens. We partner with the Boys and Girls Clubs of America that every uh, club is eligible to receive a free Tower Garden. Um, Volunteers of America and the Children's Hunger Fund We've given away over a million meals via the Complete Shake. Um, so this company is all about giving. This community is all about giving and restoring hope and restoring dreams. I remember, you know, a long time ago, people used to have dreams and dreams have subsided. They've shrinked because of what's going on, not only in the recent months, but the last 10 years, people have had to shrink their dreams to fit what is actually possible. Mm -hmm. But this organization, this, this community of like-minded, like-hearted and like-spirited people are bringing dreams back. Just imagine if you could now believe that if you dream it, you can actually get it. That's happening in this community. And that's why I'm so, just grateful and thank God every day and every night that I am a part of this community that is impacting and, and changing lives, especially when it comes to the two um, populations that need it are, 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 are young and are elderly. And it's never, you're never too young to get this into your body and you're never too old to get it into your body. Because as you, you stated, Henry, many times over, nutrition is vital to our bodies. Um, I mean, I can't say it any better than you just did. And I cannot wait to get this recording out to people that are going to need it and hopefully apply this knowledge. So um, Henry, I don't know if you have any final thoughts that you want to say, but I thank you so much because wow, I know I'm sharing this with my family and friends and, and pastors that I know and, and physicians because they need to have this information as a tool that they can share not only with their patients, but the people that they, they um, interact with all the time. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. The only thing that I would say to that too is um, if any point during today, you thought of someone who would benefit from hearing this information, then don't hesitate to reach out to them. 
because what is the price that they pay if you don't say anything to them? And I'll leave it there. Yes, amen, brother. So please get back to the person who invited you to this amazing, amazing, phenomenal call. And let's make a difference together. Let's lock arms and let's impact and change the world. And uh, we are in 26 countries and growing. So this is a global mission that we are on, folks. So again, everyone unmute yourselves. Please tell Henry, thank you. And have an amazing rest of your Saturday, a great weekend. And if we don't see you again, happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. God bless you all. Awesome. Thank you, Henry. Awesome. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Troy.